Hey everyone, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and this is a uh, little video showing you how it can be quite easy to track satellites. Now this is NOAA 15 which is a weather satellite. The interesting part of NOAA weather satellites they're quite easy to receive even on little portables like this and they are if you record the audio very often you can use a little piece of software called weather to image that actually will decode the weather map if the reception is good enough so here it is now approaching my area so basically what I've done is this is ham radio deluxe uh, tracking software so the ham radio deluxe interface is here tracking software is here now you see I have a check mark in the receive here that's because it's controlling my radio you see that there's a frequency shift here slowly the frequency is shifting that controls my radio basically so um, it's automatic through a USB to a serial interface on the ICOM receiver right there so basically I just check on the internet there's you know tracking software you even have websites that will show you where satellites are and uh, you know when they pass over your area so now the satellite is passing over Montreal so we're go going to try to receive it now so uh, let's check that out and I'll show you that even with a portable usually reception should be there for satellites when they have good passes over the city that's the important thing when you're tracking satellites uh, is having a good pass that brings it high enough over your head so that it's as the closest it can be and usually works quite well uh, at reception especially if you're outside is pretty amazing uh, rubber ducky antenna often enough for these satellites because they're just so amazing uh, and amazingly easy basically to receive so satellite is slowly approaching here the center frequency for NOAA 15 is 137.62 and uh, you can start hearing it here on my receiver that little high pitched tone in the noise it's not super strong right now but it's still very low for example if you look here in the uh, satellite if we uh, just go closer here it tells you the information so here it tells you that the satellite NOAA 15 is actually 2500 kilometers away from where I am which is quite far but as it gets closer it gets even better as you see it's gaining strength and usually it even will make my S meter go up and here you're hearing it better so if I would record this audio I would be technically able when it's really really there to decode a weather map also and that's a cool thing also it, it has a an interesting side where you can actually try and decode the weather uh, stuff and the weather information here so basically that's where it's all happening quite easy in general to uh, track these satellites if you don't have communication satellite like mine just over and think that the frequency is around to 137.620 so you'll be able to track it like that but there's a Doppler shift so it shifts in frequency um, that's for sure if I look at my try it I don't know if I'll be able inside to receive it but once it's strong enough 
I have actually put my little scanner radio here to the frequency of 137.620. So uh, we'll see if with the rubber ducky I can also receive it. Uh, that would be quite quite cool actually. So I just unchecked the uh, software. That's why the doctor is not automatically compensated, but I'm gonna start it back and you'll see how it works also. So if we look at seem to have reception right now on the portable receiver but eventually it could happen so this Nova 15 is a weather satellite it's an old weather satellite it's been in space for quite uh, a lot of years now and it's one of the cool things that you can listen to there's a lot of uh, of uh, weather satellites in the 136 137 megahertz range they're pretty much all there and um, basically that is where usually you know tune and there's one of the interesting things about it also is the fact that there's often um, unknown weather satellites that sometimes come back to life so if you tune around regularly around 136 137 often you can hear that they are there which is pretty cool So depending on what you're listening to and like I said you know there's not a lot of equipment required usually even a little portable scanner when the passes are right receives these satellites quite well so here let's check it out So now 15 satellite. So there it goes. And I've started the satellite tracking software again. So now you see that the frequency is shifting automatically without my help. So here, I'm gonna close the volume here, but if you can listen, it's not very strong because I'm inside. I am receiving it on my Pro 43. So, so I can hear it now. It's not very strong, especially because I'm inside the home, but it gives you an idea that it's possible and with all the interference inside it's not easy but it gives you a pretty good idea of how well it works basically so uh, that's pretty cool so NOAA 15 weather satellite another you know a uh, little thing that you can receive on a radio and like I said if you're, uh, you know, if the pass is good, you can actually receive it quite well, uh, usually. So, for example, now it's just past its prime. When you look at the, uh, it's not to the right here. There it goes. And on the map, you can see where it is. You have the trace. There are some uh, software out there. One of my favorite software for tracking satellites is uh, Orbitron, which is very good. The only thing is you have to right click on the Arbitron uh, icon and give it administrative rights if you want it to work well in Windows uh, 7, 8 and uh, 10. But it works well and um, you can track a lot of satellites, search for satellite lists on the internet. Um, there's a lot of satellite lists. And just tune around and you know some people devote 
their hobby to scanning for mysterious unknown satellites, trying to find out what they are, and um, often finding old satellites that were sent in the 70s or 60s that are still in orbit and suddenly come back to life without any, uh, you know, notification, basically. So, uh, you know, that's the cool thing. And as you see here, my receiver, in my case it's cool because my receiver is, a, is basically being uh, tuned automatically to follow the shift in Doppler from the satellite with this software. So it's pretty cool for that. So I uh, hope that it will uh, give you interest in the hobby of radio uh, reception of satellites. It's uh, one of those cool little things that you can do on VHF and UHF with a scanner radio. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please uh, subscribe and give us a thumbs up.